Good day, Wonder Nurses. I'm Nurse Anne. Today, we will answer an exam questions, then I will give the correct answer and rationale. If you're ready, let's start. Question number one. The correct answer is letter C, impaired gas exchange. All the given nursing diagnosis is appropriate to patients with acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, but impaired gas exchange is the priority for patients who develop pneumocystis carnea pneumonia. Always remember your A, B, C, airway, breathing, and circulation. Question number two. The correct answer is letter A, a drop in heart rate. During bronchoscopy, there is a passable pharynx stimulation that can result to vasovagal response, which can cause stimulation of the vagus nerve. The stimulation of the vagus nerve will not cause bronchodilation or pupillary dilation because it increases gastric secretion and patient may experience sudden drop of heart rate that can lead to syncope. Question number three. The correct answer is letter B, clear breath sounds. Beta-2 adrenergic agonies can cause bronchodilation, which means it dilates the bronchial passages and the narrowed airways. The drug cannot be monitored for serum levels, and a productive cough is not a sign of an effective medication. Beta-2 adrenergic agonies are cardiac stimulants. Therefore, it can cause tachycardia. Question number four. The correct answer is letter B. In pulmonary emphysema, there is an increased carbon dioxide and a decreased oxygen that results to respiratory acidosis. A long-standing hypercapnia, the breathing of a patient with emphysema, is triggered by low oxygen levels. While to a person with a normal respiratory drive, the initiative to breathe is triggered by an increased carbon dioxide levels. Question number five.
The correct answer is letter D. Patients with chronic bronchitis have a weak and flat diaphragm. So to aid in strengthening the diaphragm and to maximize its ventilation, they should perform diaphragmatic breathing. It is the diaphragmatic breathing and not the chest breathing that increases the lung expansion. Exhalation should be longer than inhalation and the patient should exhale through pursed lips to prolong exhalation and to prevent the collapse of the bronchioles. Thank you for listening. I hope you learn and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want Nurse Anne to discuss something related in your nursing subjects, just feel free to leave a comment.